We have all but eliminated elective inductions in moms who are less than 39 weeks gestation long before the Joint Commission came out with it as part of the new perinatal care standards that were just announced and effective this month, April 2010. So we've been looking at that for quite a few years before the Joint Commission has uh, chosen to, to add it as a perinatal care standard. So those are the two most important things. Eliminating iatrogenic prematurity because of early induction of labor or early scheduling of cesarean sections and really fine-tuning the use of oxytocin for inductions and augmentations.